Sorry guys, but I just simply cannot, I cannot justify the price tag of this game on a console at $41.49. Uh, considering that this game, when it came out last year on PC, I think it was August, I believe, it was struggling on a PC with so many bugs with so many issues, with so many problems, and those issues and bugs have never been resolved. They've been updating this game till the end of times, and still, the game, it's working like, like crap. There's still issues, there's still problems. I have the PC version. I mean, I have this on the PC, okay? But I cannot justify the price tag of this on, on a console. There's so many unanswered questions. What type of uh, wheels does it support? Does it support uh, all of the brands, or is it just certain brands, certain Logitech brands, or is it certain uh, Thrustmaster brands? You know, there's so much here we don't know. I mean, and they're asking this kind of a price. I'm sorry. This should be bare minimum, like on a console, $24.99, $25. That's it. Bare minimum, $25 on a console. This is just unacceptable, man. Uh, there's, I, I don't know who's putting the five stars on there. It's probably, you know, fanboys who are excited about, Ooh, we get the truck game. We have a truck game on our plastic console. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go uh, check out the PC videos? Why don't you go check out my videos, how terrible the PC version is? And, and trust me, this is going to be terrible as well. Copy and paste. Nothing to see here. They just copy and paste from the PC port. That's it. That's all. That's all you're gonna get. Uh, man, no way, man. This, this is uh, no, guys. So that's my answer as far as the uh, Alaskan Road Truckers. I mean, I already have it on PC. I mean, I can play it from the PC, you know, and that's it. But I don't even play it on a PC because the game, it's so buggy, it's so messy. Uh, listen, just type in my name, Mr. 4 k Upscaler, Alaskan Road Truckers, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right? And you'll see what I'm talking about. I have credibility when it comes to this game. I've been down this road before. And the answer is no. Hell no. Hell no. You ain't going to see me paying for this. The only way I'll play this is when it comes on, like, Game Pass, which I'm pretty sure will show up on Game Pass one of these days, right? That's the only way. Or when it whenever shows up on PlayStation Plus, either on Game Pass or PlayStation Plus, then you'll see me play this. Until that day, no, no. You ain't going to see me uh, forking out, you know, 41 and 41, 49 cents. No, sir. It ain't going to happen. All right, until it comes out on PlayStation Plus or Game Pass, that's the only way. But until that day, I ain't touching this. I don't even touch it on PC, man. That's how bad it is, bro. Even on the GeForce Now, it was bad. I'm sorry. Once I get a bad taste in my mouth, I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. That's right. If you're watching these developers, once I get a bad taste in my mouth, I ain't coming back. I already see what you guys are all about. And that's it. You guys are all about this. And if somebody has something negative to say or criticize you in a Discord, what do you do? You block them. Yeah. Yeah. How nice. How nice. If somebody has a, something critical to say, you guys just block them. Your moderators are blocking people. Because they have a, a very critical, legitimate questions about your bugs in the game that you don't know how to fix. Anyway, that's it. Just a short little video about this. No. The answer is... Nah, 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 nah. Goodbye. I ain't wasting time on this nonsense.